Hello, this is Dr. Valdez with Hair Loss Solutions, and today's topic is going to be the use of Propecia um, finasteride for the use of hair loss. Um, Propecia is a very um, common medication used in hair loss. It is a prescription medication. Um, it has been used for a long time now. Um, it's available in one milligram. That's the dose that's usually used for hair restoration. And it works a little bit different than some of the other treatments that we've spoken about before, like the low laser light therapy or minoxidil. The way Propecia works is that it works by blocking a certain hormone that we know that is involved in the cause of hair loss. Uh, probably the majority of men and uh, probably the majority of women's cause for hair loss is hormone based. Um, our bodies, both men and women, have testosterone and we have an enzyme or a chemical that takes part of our testosterone and converts it to a subtype which is called dihydrotestosterone. So DHT or dihydrotestosterone, which you may have heard about before with hair loss, actually comes from the hormone testosterone. Um, we know that DHT can bind to the hair follicles and cause those hair follicles to start growing thinner, weaker hairs. And over time, as more and more of these follicles are affected, a uh, person starts becoming thinner and thinner and eventually can lose their hair because of the hormone effects. What Propecia does is that Propecia is a chemical, a prescription medication that blocks the enzyme or the chemical that converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. So when you take Propecia, you actually lower your body's um, quantities of DHT, dihydrotestosterone. By doing that, you have less of that hormone floating in your blood, affecting your hair follicles. So more of the hairs that would normally be interrupted or made weaker by DHT will now not be affected and the hair follicles are allowed to grow strong hairs for a longer period of time, strong and thicker hair and keep the person having better coverage. For the hairs that are being affected already by dihydrotestosterone, if you block that hormone, you little by little stop the effects of the DHT on those hairs and you will see hairs that were once thinner and weaker become thicker and also help in filling in and giving somebody a fuller, uh, thicker look to their scalp. So Propecia is actually very effective. Um, the nice thing is that it works differently than some of the other medications. Um, so it can be used alone and a lot of times we can use it in combination with other therapies to help give a synergistic effect and give um, attack that hair loss from different angles um, to help somebody get thicker, longer hair. The important thing with Propecia, as with Minoxidil or the low laser light therapy, is that it is only effective during the time that you take it. So it is a medication that when you do take for hair loss, you have to always continue taking the medication. Once you discontinue Propecia over a few months, you will notice that the hair will start becoming weaker and thinner again, and the process restarts. So Propecia, very effective, but it has to be taken on a regular basis every day, and you have to take it lifelong in order to um, achieve the benefits of Propecia. This concludes my segment on Propecia. Um, if you think that it may be a treatment that you would be interested in doing, if you want to know if your hair loss would respond to Propecia or would like to have a hair evaluation to see what treatment specifically will work the best for you, please call us here at Hair Loss Solutions and make an appointment. We offer free consultations. Our phone number is 954-613-5777 or you can visit us on our website www.haircosmeticsurgery.com. Thank you very much.